seat. The moment. Have a seat. Sit on your chairs, please. Sit on your chairs, please. Everybody have a seat. Everybody have a seat. This way. This way. We want to be brought you. All right. Listen up, guys. Jordan. Turn up, Jordan. You got Jordan's sticker on you. That's why. Jaden. Sit on your bottom. No, it does say Jaden. I thought it said Jordan. Jaden. Sit on your bottom. Sit on your bottom. All right, who was here last week? Who was here? Put your hand up if you were here last week. Do you remember what we talked about last week? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, healed oh, yeah. Jesus healed the blind man. I want to go back to that. I want to go back to that. Jesus healed the man who was blind because there was something at the beginning of the story. In John chapter 9, at the beginning of the story, let me read this over for you guys again, and then we're going to come back to where our lesson is. Yes. Okay, just sit on your bottom. Leave his chair at home. Just. Uh, Jaden, Jaden, sit on your bottom. You can look at. You can watch me while we while we have the lesson. All right, guys. Here, let me let me see the dinosaur, please. Let me see the dinosaur, please. Thank you. All right. So we're in John chapter 9. It says here, Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. What does that mean? He was blind from birth. He was blind ever since he was born. He could never see. Can you imagine that? Not be, can you imagine not being able to see? You're walking around, you can't see anything. Absolutely. I can't your eyes closed. You could even die from that. If, if you're not careful, yeah. Yeah, like you so were wait. on the kitchen. He wasted his childhood. So, so that means he had to waste his childhood. He didn't waste his childhood, but he, he did the best that he could. He had to have a lot of friends to help him around. And he, when he got older, he couldn't go to work because he couldn't see. Feet down, please. All right. Now listen, listen to what the disciples Listen to what Jesus' disciples asked him. He, they said, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Why did he have to why, why did there have to be sin? Let me ask you this. Do good things Happen to good people. Yes. And do bad things happen to bad people. So does that mean if you're a good person, if you're a good person, good things are always going to happen to you? And if you're a bad person, bad things are always going to happen to you. That's the truth. Jordan hit it right there. Not one of us is good. We all sinned. Every, but Jesus still loves you. And here's the thing. Jesus came to die to take away our sins. So everybody has sinned. There's not one person in this room who hasn't sinned. I've sinned. I've sinned. I've done things that I shouldn't do. I, I'm not gonna. I don't have to go into details, but uh, let's let's just say this. I've told lies before. I did too. You lie too? I Brother used Dave, you told lies before. Did you? I have told lies before, and every one of you guys has too. Every one of you guys has told a lie before. Did you lie to your wife before? Okay, we'll play with that after the lesson. David, David, did you lie to your wife before? Are you lying to your wife before? That's probably true. What's the lie? Okay, we're gonna talk about that. He's blind. Show me. Guys, 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 listen, listen. Show me 
me somebody who's blind. Show me somebody who's blind. Right? They can't see, right? So they got their eyes closed. Raina, the answer to your question is none of your business. Come on. Okay? That's the answer to your question. Is none of your business. Have I ever told you? Have I ever told a lie to you guys before? None of your business. Have I ever told a lie to my parents before? None of your business. That's none of your business. Alright. I tell lies to everybody. Listen. There are there are some people who believe that if you do good things, good things are going to happen to you. And if you do bad things, bad things are going to happen to you. But here's the deal. Sometimes good things happen to bad people. And sometimes bad things happen to people who are usually pretty good. Now, none of us is really good. All of us have sinned. The Bible said that everybody has sinned and come short of God's glory. In other words, we came short of what God wanted for us. And here's another thing, that the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Do you guys know what wages are? What are wages? What was that? You had an answer. What was that? I thought you, I thought you said an answer. Who said an answer? Consequences. Okay. Kaya, 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 what do you got? Consequences. Okay. Do you know what wages are? Jordan, if I ask you to come over and mow my lawn, you ever mowed the lawn before? And, uh, when, I, when I was growing up, that was my job. I was the oldest son, so my job was to mow the lawn. And if I invited, let's say that I invited one of you guys over to do some work around the house, and when you, when you got done working, I paid you. That's a good thing, isn't it, right? Yeah! That's a good thing. Those are wages. That's what wages are. You get paid for what you do. When I go to work in the morning, I don't do it for free. You do it with fun and two I don't just do it for fun. If, if, they, told, if they told me, Dave, we're not going to pay you anymore, I quit. I'm not going to work there anymore. When I go to work, I get paid. When your dads or your moms go to work, they get paid. And that's what's called wages. Like you get paid for what you do. And the better job you do, the more you get paid usually. And sometimes the different kinds of work. Now, listen, listen. When we sin, we get paid for it. You know that? When we sin, we get paid for it. Consequences. What are consequences? What's, what's the consequence of sin? Death. 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 The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The consequence of sin is death. Did you know that Adam and Eve should have never died? When God created Adam and Eve, God, God created them with the intent that they would never die. But because Adam and Eve sinned, they had to die. Now, Jesus did something very wonderful for us. He died in our place. Yeah, he took... Now, he died in Arizona? Let me, let, me, let me ask you this again. I don't need any hands up, Emma. Emma, Emma, sweetheart. You got to listen to me, honey. Yeah. All right. I don't want anybody to raise their hand. I don't want anybody to tell me, has anybody ever done something wrong at home and got in trouble with your parents? Okay? Yeah. Just inside, inside, your, inside your minds. Inside your minds. Inside your minds. Think not. about it. Inside your minds. If you want to, you don't have to. Uh, sure. I'm trying to walk on. Okay? Now, my parents were old school. When we did something wrong, we got spanked. Now, my mom, my mom would never spank us because my mom had arthritis and it hurt. You know, when your parents say, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, and you say, really? Yes, 
Well, with my mom, it was literally true. It hurt her more than it hurt us. So my dad had to do all the spankings. And my dad was a big guy. My dad was a big guy, and he hit hard. And it hurt. Except, except my brother was kind of dumb. My dad would give him a spank, and he'd turn to my dad and say, that didn't hurt. Guess what he got? A harder spanking. Okay, but that is the wage of your sin. You, if you, if you misbehaved at home, you got a spanking. That was the payment for your misbehaving. That's the wage. Now, wouldn't it have been cool if some you got in trouble at home and somebody came in and said, you know what, I'm going to take their spanking for them. Now, how cool would that be? Right? That person would be my best friend. Did it? Yeah. That person was your best friend, wasn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus took our punishment for us. If somebody came in and said, you know what? Matthias, you're about to get a spanking from your dad. Oh. I'm going to come and I'm going to take your spanking for you. No, 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 no. No, there. If somebody came in and said, Matthias, I'm going to take your spanking from your dad instead of you. That's going to be your best friend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Jesus did. That's what Jesus did. The punishment for sin is death. And Jesus said, I'm going to take that in your place. Yes, Dominic. Yeah, and so great on that was like what you said. It was called the whipping boy. Yep. Yeah, but except for that, in the case of the whipping boy, that wasn't their choice. They didn't choose to do that. They and that was that was very unfair. Because they, they didn't choose that. In Jesus' case, Jesus chose to become a whipping boy for us. He chose to be the whipping boy. He said, I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it because I love you. And that's pretty cool. Yes. We didn't have phones. And, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. There, there was no such thing as one of these when I was a kid. Here's, here's, here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. When, when I was a kid, we had a phone hanging on the wall. And sometimes people shared the same phone number. They called it a party line. All right. That's what they call it. All right, listen, listen, listen. Raina, please. But the disciples, they automatically assumed that this guy had done something wrong because he was born blind. Wait a minute. How could you do something wrong when you're not even born yet? That was a silly question to ask. That was really a silly question to ask. How could you do something wrong? Here, turn around. Oh, well, why don't we keep it on you, though? And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put it on your back, and then we'll take it off at the end of class, okay? Just think of the back. All right. Look, there are some people that believe that good things only happen to good people, bad things only happen to bad people. That is wrong. That is completely wrong. Because the Bible says that God causes it to rain on the just and the unjust. That means that sometimes bad people receive good things, and sometimes good people receive bad things. But for you to say, well, you know, because that person is sick, they must have done something wrong. That's kind of that's kind of mean. That's really kind of mean. No. Because you're blaming the person who's sick. You know, I, look, I, I, I've known people who died young. Yeah, you guys, you guys know, right? Did did your mom do anything wrong? Oh, my mom. No, she didn't. Did my did my youngest sister do anything wrong? No, she didn't. Did my mom do anything wrong? Mom, no, she didn't. No. Oh, my grandma. But sometimes bad things happen to good people. Let me tell you this, though. That if you believe in Jesus, dying is actually not a bad thing. It's bad for everybody around you, but for you, that means you get to go to heaven. And that is 
I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. All right, listen, listen, guys, 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 guys. Listen. Jesus loves us. He didn't mean for bad things to happen for bad people, good things to happen for good people. He doesn't mean for good things to happen for bad people, bad things to happen for good people. Those happen. But just because somebody is sick doesn't mean they did something wrong. Now, do some people get sick because they did something wrong? Yeah. I know people that smoked cigarettes all their lives. And when they got older, they had problems. Some of them got what's, no. what's called no. emphysema. They couldn't, they couldn't breathe. Other people got cancer and died from it. Sometimes. So sometimes when we do wrong things, bad things do happen. But just because somebody is sick doesn't mean they did something bad. And just because somebody is well doesn't mean they did something good. What does cancer mean? It's, it's a disease in your body. And it can be it can be very painful. It's like a very it's a it, can, it can be very painful. My mom had it. Uh, their mom had it. And so my mom died from it too. So alright. Ready to go. We're gonna wrap it up here. A couple more questions, comments, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Now, some people get cancer and they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get to meet any of my great grandparents either. They all died before I was born. I barely knew my grandparents. <laughs> Alright, real quick, Brandon. <laughs> Then later you come to realize, oh my goodness, I did something wrong. What's the right thing to do then? How do you make that right? When you do something wrong, you say that you're sorry, and then you don't do it anymore, right? You don't do it anymore. Okay, Nathaniel, what, last, Nathaniel, okay, guys, listen up. Nathaniel's got the last question here. That's the first thing. We thank you because you love us. And Lord, sometimes we think that, you know, we, we see something bad that happens to a person. We think, man, they must have done something wrong. But Lord, you know, that's not the truth. That's, that's called blaming the victim. And we don't want to do that. I ask you, Lord, that you would help us to have grace toward other people. That we would never assume that they did something wrong, but rather, Lord, that we would come and that we would try to meet them at their needs. That we would try to do good to them. You know, whether, they, whether we think they deserved it or not, Lord, that we would do good to all people. Lord, I pray that you would give us your heart, that you would give us your attitude, that you would give us your mind, Lord, that you loved everybody. And help us to love everybody also. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.